Under the streets of Paris, France, lies an underground labyrinth of tunnels, left over from the days when Paris was being constructed and quarries were chiseled out to create the building blocks of the city. But those forgotten tunnels are far from empty. Step back in time with me, in more ways than one since I filmed this as part of a collab video many moons ago, and let's explore the catacombs of Paris. This is Marty from Down the Rabbit Hole Travel. Pardon my voice, I have been sick for about a week and this is the best my voice has been. So today I'm going to try doing some filming. One of the creepiest places I've ever visited on my travels was the Paris Catacombs. I visited in April of 2010 with a group of junior high students that I was leading. I had seen the catacombs online and I was ready to visit them in person. Catacombs actually began in the 12th century as limestone quarries, random tunnels lacing haphazardly through the countryside. Eventually, Paris expanded and built over top of these tunnels, leaving a dark and mysterious underground beneath. In 1780, the basement wall of someone's house collapsed and a mass grave from the cemetery next door tumbled in. Needing somewhere to deposit all these bones from Paris's overflowing cemeteries, Officials decided on the limestone quarries as the final resting place and transferred the bones from the cemetery into the tunnels. In this way, Paris's famous ossuaries were formed. Tunnels upon tunnels and underground rooms upon underground rooms were filled with jumbled bones all piled up unceremoniously. Today, certain sections of the tunnels and the ossuaries are open to visitors. Lots of the bones are all still in messy piles but some have been arranged into artful patterns. What is so creepy about the ossuaries is that at first it looks so touristy, but then as you continue walking and looking at the bones up close, it hits you that you are looking at the bones of real dead people. There are people in the ossuaries who have died from the bubonic plague. There are people in the ossuaries who have been murdered and you can actually see the bullet holes still in their skulls. These are the bones of people who have been disturbed from their graves, transferred into a dark, dank tunnel, jumbled up in piles, or arranged in patterns for the pleasure of viewing tourists. It's a little unsettling. And we actually discovered one of the creepiest things at the end of our tour when we climbed the stairs out of the ossuaries and emerged into the light. We had to get searched for evidence that we might have smuggled some of these human remains out of the tunnels. On the day that we went, already they had discovered two human skulls that thieves had been trying to take home as souvenirs. If you're interested in the Paris ossuaries or the Paris catacombs, I have a lot more information on my blog, which you are definitely more than welcome to go visit. It's called Down the Rabbit Hole, and you can find it easy at downtherabbithole.blogspot.com. Have you ever explored the Paris catacombs or the tunnels beneath the city? If not, what's the spookiest place you've ever visited? If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and sharing it to spread the travel love. As well, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube community and ring the bell to be notified on all new videos.